Thank you, Matt. 631 now, a late night shooting at Bozeman Pond Park Sunday night left two people recovering in the hospital. Dan Zanny Johnson uh, explains how what witnesses described that night. Fireworks can be very loud and sometimes even sound like gunshots. If you live near the Bozeman Pond, then Sunday night, it may have been gunshots you heard. My mom and I just went for a drive, you know, to see some fireworks and uh, we we're trying to get back home and all the streets were blocked off and the cop was like, you can't go home. That's because near her home was an active investigation after police were called for a shooting. Our officers got a call for, that there had been a shooting around the Bozeman Ponds and our officers showed up uh, and found a couple of victims. So there's two victims uh, and both of those victims uh, are currently expected to recover. As far as the suspect, he or she has not been caught yet. So we looked for the suspect uh, after the incident. Unfortunately, we were able to, unable to find someone at this point. Uh, we're still collecting tips. The shooting happened around 10 p.m., which was the same time fireworks were going off. Did you hear any gunshots? I think so but I'm not sure it was really hard to tell with the fireworks. And even well into the night, it was hard to tell which was which. That was my thing too, because I know there were a lot that did sound like gunshots, thinking maybe, oh, they got them. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it was just fireworks. John and his family found what's left of the crime scene Monday morning. My wife was uh, going on a morning walk with uh, one of our daughters and she stumbled across it. She came back and she's like, hey, there's you can see the whole scene right there. Anyone with information is urged to contact the Bozeman Police Department and you can remain anonymous. Reporting in Bozeman, Annie Johnson, MTN News. Now that subject described as being five foot nine to six feet tall with slender build, wearing a dark gray hooded sweatshirt with a black mask covering his or her nose and mouth. As of now, police are calling the shooting an attempted deliberate homicide, still investigating a motive for that.